Welcome to this Greg's Bass Shed video. So I'm going to share with you how I turned my £30 bass guitar into a proper pro instrument. Now a lot of you might have seen this on videos, um, I use it for a lot of my videos, I love the sound of this bass, this P bass, and, and I also use it for a lot of my pro gigs, so I've used it in massive stadiums for um, Queen gig I do, Queen Symphonic, I've used it for loads of other gigs, and I've even used it on a couple of shows in the West End. Um, so I'm going to tell you the story of how I turned this into a pro instrument. Well, first of all, I bought this bass at school in 1989 um, for £30. Um, that's about $40, just over $40, I think. So I bought it off a mate, um, and I had it all that time. So I kind of used to mess around with this in school bands, and then it just ended up sort of in my attic for years. Um, and then I found it, and I thought, I really kind of want to do something with this bass. I love it so much. So I went out and bought a few parts. So first of all, I took the neck off. Um, to kind of have a little look at the body because I wanted to strip the body and maybe colour the body like I did for a couple of my other bases. So you've probably seen my green base here quite a lot that I use in my video lessons so I kind of stained and coloured that myself. Um, but when I took the neck off and looked at the neck pocket and looked at the quality of the wood, well it was, um, I think it's sort of compressed wood or something like that anyway, it's not good quality wood. So I realised it just really wasn't going to work to try and stain and colour it. So I thought, oh I'll just keep the black on it. Had a few chips, but um, you might see a few here, but I kind of painted those over just with some black felt tip pen. So anyway, I got a neck and I got that from all parts. Now they're all parts in the States or the UK. Um, I think it was cheap at the time a couple of years ago for me to get it from the States actually. Um, but I bought a neck and this neck was about £190 um, so I think that's about $250. So I bought quite a nice P-Base neck and then that was the first part I bought for it. And then I replaced the pickups and I got some bare knuckle pickups. That's a UK make. They make vintage pickups and they also, if you've got old pickups, they'll kind of rewire them. Um, so I got these P Base, um, I think they were 58s. Um, I bought these bare knuckle pickups. Um, you might be able to get them in the States now, I don't know. But what I suggest is you look for a kind of boutique vintage pickup company if you want an old style bass, if you want to put it together like a P bass or a J bass. Um, and then you can listen to a lot of samples online. I just love these P bass pickups. Um, so they're about £190, $250. Um, so that was the next job and they come um, with cabling and stuff like that. So next I then looked at the bridge. Now this is the original bridge you can see here. Um, so that's quite an unusual kind of bridge, but I decided to keep it and I'm really glad I did because I think that contributes to this really solid sounding bass tone. Um, so all I did is I just got some steel wool and just rubbed them over. It's kind of brass these bits here, they're brass and a bit of um, whatever that is steel there. So they were looking really shiny a couple of years ago, they're tarnished again now, but I could do it again. Um, so I kept that bridge so I didn't have to buy a new bridge. Um, next of all, I looked at a scratch plate. So I found this just online for £15, it's $20. Um, you can find lots of cheap sort of scratch plates. It was actually a new one. Um, so I found that, I kind of liked that. The original one was white. Um, so I put the scratch plate on. I think I just had to cut a tiny bit here just to make it fit, but it was really easy. I mean, I'm not that handy with tools as well. So I kind of, um, so if I can do it, anyone can do it. Then I put a um, transfer on for the label there because when you buy these necks they're, um, they haven't got anything on them. So that was, you can just design your own, it's really really cheap. Um, I just put GH base, um, so I just custom base, I just put that on there so that's really cheap. Um, and then I kind of finished the body with some, um, I use wood tone actually but you can use true wood, lots of different finishes. I just did a really light finish on it because I don't like the kind of real glossy backs of um, fretboards. So all of the parts really came to about um, well, they were under £300, um, but I think it's a bit more now. Um, but the whole base, you can get the whole base for under £500. So now these Encores, I kind of looked them up now, they're cheap bases, you can get them for about 120 quid, which is $160. Um, so 
really this whole base even if you bought it now and did what i did replace the neck um, would only would cost you under 500 pounds which is under 700 dollars um, now the neck feels lovely i really really like like this neck um, you could go to town with the pickups you could spend a bit more um, another thing i got was i got a drop d so i got this um hip shock drop d here so it you can tune that to whatever note you want a d or e flat for example so i use this um, fat bottom girls on the queen gig um, drop that down so then your E string changes to a D so that's really useful so that was an extra expense I think that was about um, 85 pounds um, what's that $120 or something like that um, so you've got some options of things that you can customize and add on also the real draw of this instrument I think is having flat wound strings as well now I'm kind of relatively new to the idea of flat wounds the last kind of two or three years before that I just used to use round wounds and I still love round wounds um, on some of my bases just to get that real kind of sort of topier uh, brighter sound but now I'm really sold on uh, flat wounds for certain instruments they're just really nice thuddy sound on a P bass <laughs> So I just I love that thuddy flat one string. So you can put strings, you put any strings on this obviously, um, but I think with a P it's worth trying that flat one sound. So that's it really. That's how I got this brilliant sounding bass for not much money at all. Um, and it's the one I play four strings, the one I play the most. I've got my overwater bass for my five string that I love uh, and a Lackland five string as well. But for anything with four string, um, this is the one really that I go for. I mean, I've still got my, my telly bass here. Um, I like that as well actually. Um, I put that all together from parts and there's a video, I'll put a link up here now to a video that you can click on to um, explain about how I kind of coloured and stained that with a product called Wood Tone. Um, so for under £500 or $700, sort of design your own base. It doesn't take a lot of skill. You could actually get um, someone to set it up and to wire it. The, um, the neck's really easy to do, just kind of undo this plate at the back here. Oh, that's another little thing, I, I, I just found one of those online, so that was a little fender plate there. Um, so you just really, really unscrew them and replace the neck so you can do that yourself. But even if you paid someone sort of 100 quid to kind of um, put the pickups in and set it all up and put the neck on, you'd still be saving a lot of cash. So that's kind of a great way to get yourself a cheap base. Well, I hope you like this video. Please like and share it if you did and leave a comment below. Let me know if you've done any projects, if you've got any bases that you kind of put together yourself, um, what you think of the sound of this bass. Um, and please subscribe to my channel by clicking below. And if you're after any bass resources, eBooks, video courses, books, then head over to my website, gbshed.com. You'll find everything over there. And also in the link below here, I'll put a PDF with links to kind of all parts, a few different places to give you ideas about pickups and necks. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed. See you soon in the next video.